This is Matthew Cratter from Bitcoin University. And today I wanted to talk about how the US government is actually actively funding Bitcoin mining. This is a surprising story. We have Tether, which is the parent company that issues USDT, which is a stable coin. We've seen a lot of stable coins collapse in terms of market cap. For example, USDC, which is issued by Circle and is much more accepted in the US, has plummeted from about $55 billion market cap down to about $29 billion. By contrast, USDT, because it's offshore and it's much less under the thumb of the US government, has become very popular even in the midst of this crypto winter. Just in 2023, it's gone from about 66 billion to about 83 billion in market cap. And the reason I'm telling you this is it's actually very significant from a revenue perspective for the company Tether. So you give Tether $1 and then they give you one USDT. In practice, this happens at the institutional level and involves much larger amounts. But in principle, you give them one, one US dollar, one real US dollar, they give you one USDT, one US dollar stablecoin. And then Tether, Tether takes that one dollar that you've given them and, they've in, and they invest it to earn yield. So if Tether, the stablecoin, has a market cap of 83 billion, and let's say all of that is invested in three month T bills, we don't know exactly how much is invested in various categories. They do disclose some of this, uh, but we do know that they're very profitable as we're going. To see, but let's suppose you invest 83 billion in three month T bills, which are currently trading at about 5.5%. That's an annualized revenue of 4.57 billion just from the interest income. And this would be money that the parent company, Tether, is earning because when you hold a USDT, you're not getting any interest or interest income from it. So this looks like, if this is true, it looks like Tether has currently between four and five billion dollars in annual revenue. And in free, that's that's the revenue number. Presumably they have some expenses, but I know they have a very small team. And so the profits are probably very close to uh, four or four and a half billion as well. And the great irony of this is the reason they have such high revenues now is because Janet Yellen, who runs the US Treasury, is actually paying them interest income and Jerome Powell hiked rates. So this is the sense in which, in which the US government is funding Bitcoin mining, as we're going to see. And not only is the US government indirectly funding Bitcoin mining, they are also helping Tether to accumulate Bitcoin. In other words, the US government, through these interest income payments, are providing revenue that allows Tether to uh, purchase and hodl uh, Bitcoin. They've said a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago, that they're going to invest approximately 15% of their net profits back into Bitcoin to hold their reserves. And so this tells you a lot that even uh, even crypto people, when it comes to their savings, they want to hold it in the soundest form of money possible, which is Bitcoin. And now it looks like they're, they're bathing in so much money, they're rolling around in so much cash, that they also are going to start investing in sustainable Bitcoin mining and energy production in Uruguay. And this is the press the press announcement from Tether itself, which I will link to in the description notes below. The reason they chose Uruguay is, is probably because of some political reasons that the country is friendly to Tether. Uh, Tether is, uh, the, the US government doesn't like Tether and a lot of other governments don't like Tether, but I guess Uruguay uh, is willing to work with them. And as Tether points out, Uruguay has emerged as a global leader in renewable energy, achieving a remarkable 94% of electricity generation from renew renewable sources, predominantly wind and solar power. That's from their press release. I would say that this is a bit of virtue signaling. You cannot run an electric grid currently solely using intermittent power sources like wind and solar. Intermittent meaning that they're not constant during uh, throughout the 24 hour period. It gets dark at night. And so you can't use solar at night and it also sometimes the wind stops blowing. And so what happens if you want to run your AC uh, at nighttime and it's dark and the wind is not blowing, for example, batteries are still not good enough to take over when the sun isn't shining, either during the night or winter or during storms or when the wind isn't blowing. And so natural gas peaking plants and nuclear are inevitable. Uh, it says in that press release that your Uruguay has very good hydro as well. If it's really good and not too seasonal, this may be possible. Uh, but a lot of this really is tether virtue signaling, unfortunately. Also, they don't point out it requires lots of fossil fuels to dig up raw materials for solar panels and wind turbines. And these things are not exactly easy or cheap to reuse or recycle. You also cannot bring the dead birds back to life that have gotten chopped up by these wind turbines. Nevertheless, it is cool to see 
uh, a large company like Tether, a large and profitable country, a company operating outside the US, investing in Bitcoin mining like this. And again, the irony shouldn't be lost on anyone that this is US dollars and it's a result of US fiscal and monetary policy that the that Tether is able to have this sort of interest income to make this possible. If you have an energy background, it looks like they're actually recruiting for jobs here at Tether Energy, which I'll link to in the description notes below. It might be an interesting place to work. If Janet Yellen knew what was happening, perhaps she does know that her the interest payments she's making are going to fund Bitcoin mining. I think she would be horrified. If you want to learn more about sustainable Bitcoin mining, I'll also link to this video about the Kingdom of Bhutan mining Bitcoin using predominantly uh, hydro energy sources. There's always a lot of FUD surrounding Tether when it comes up. I've already covered this in previous videos, so I don't want to cover it here, but I will link to this video about Bitcoin and Tether FUD and as well as this this video about whether Tether will crash Bitcoin. But I like to point out when people t talk about Tether's possible impact on Bitcoin price, that it is actually very small and pales in comparison to a large shadowy group of insiders whose actions actually do serve to pump Bitcoin. It's not Tether, this is the Federal Reserve. Here's the FOMC committee and through their money printing and through their purchases of treasuries they uh, and bulking up their balance sheet they're largely responsible for the devaluation of the US dollar and hence the price appreciation of Bitcoin. Yesterday I unveiled my new Bitcoin University website that has a Bitcoin forum where we can have sort of longer form discussion and not have to worry about YouTube deleting our comments as well as my course, uh, The Ultimate Guide to Bitcoin. So be sure to check that out. I'm actually giving away 21 free monthly subscriptions, 30 day subscriptions to this. I'll put a link in the description notes below. It's still not too late to join this giveaway unless it's prohibited by law where you live. You can just put your email in here and I'll be drawing the winners over this weekend. If you don't want to wait for that and you just want to get access, I'm also offering a founding member price. The normal price is $79 for 30 days access. I'll put a link in the description notes below for this. But if you, you can just click here, get it now and enter the coupon code founder 59 and that will take $20 off and get you the best price that will ever be offered for this website for the paid course and the paid forum. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.